glad you're back to see us we are making today uh, one of my all-time uh, family favorites which is a chicken pot pie and so we it, this is going to be not only one of our family favorites but it's going to become one of your family favorites too after you try this it is extremely delicious and it's definitely tiny approved and we're gonna get started so um, we have here three cups of chicken broth. We have a, about a half a cup of chopped diced celery. We have about three tablespoons of butter. We have a half a cup of, you can do diced or shredded carrots. Um, I have about a small onion that is diced. I have a clover of garlic, diced, uh, minced. I have one fourth cup of flour, all purpose flour. I have one fourth cup of half and half and I just threw some like little extra frozen uh, one of those frozen vegetables that you get in the frozen section of your store it's got peas carrots and corn uh, you can just eyeball that and I just put about maybe about three-fourths of a cup in a bowl and I put salt pepper and about one fourth teaspoon of thyme and so I have four nine inch pie crusts and they you can use the rollout kind those tend to work a little better this is what they brought me to do the recipe with so this is what I'm going to use I have a little under two pounds package of chick, uh, chicken tenderloins and I put about two cups of water in here and we're going to boil these until the chicken is nice and done and we're going to chop that up and we are going to cook this all upon my trusty campfire stove. Don't worry guys, if you don't have the, the, a can of chicken broth, you can, right here, you can see that it's making its own broth right here, cooking in this, so, and it's absolutely going to be delicious. This is actually uh, my favorite way to get the broth anyway. I think it's better, but this is, this is, We'll make you up a bunch of chicken broth right here. And we are going to go ahead. We're just going to take out the chicken and we're going to lay it on this cutting board here because we're going to chop it up. I'm going to turn that fire off. We're going to put the chicken out here on the cutting board. Now, if you're ever wondering, you know, um, if you're cooking chicken, you want to make sure you get chicken done. Chicken's a little different than red meat. Uh, chicken... Uh, you want to make sure that you get chicken done inside and so how did how do you tell if chicken is done on the inside when you cut inside of it you can see uh, that it's not pink and it's not it doesn't have a pink or a rubbery substance to it anymore it's completely I mean you can just tear that thing right apart that is done If you, if you cut into your chicken and it still has a little pink or a, it'll be pink and kind of a little rubbery looking, then you need to probably cook your chicken a little longer just to make sure that you get it. And you can kind of see that when I cut into my chicken, that my chicken is all done on the inside. Now I'm just going to save this broth here because I'm going to use some of that. I'm going to mix it with the other broth. And we're gonna we're gonna make our our uh, part of our filling out of that. So I'm gonna start chopping this here up. And you just want to chop it up. Now I tell you, this recipe is going to put a smile on your face. I know it's gonna put a smile on our face. We've kind of had a cold around here this week, um, and so this is really going to help, you know, um, just anything, you know, with a chicken broth or chicken, 
That seems to help a lot with a cold. Make you feel better. I hope it puts a smile on your family's face as much as it is ours. We're just going to chop that up. Well, we're not mincing it. We are, we're just chopping it. We just want it to be chopped. Okay, we're just going to pour our chicken broth in this bowl here until we're ready to use it. Just going to set that aside. And we are now going to take our butter and we're going to turn this back on. And we are going to put our butter in the pan. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and add the onions. We're going to tenderize those. We're going to add our little carrots here and our celery. We are going to add our garlic. And we're going to add our seasoning. And we're just going to let these flavors just um, kind of like tenderize, I'll tell you a little bit, just kind of, just kind of get tender. Soak up that butter, the flavors together, let them mix. And they are. We're just going to let that tenderize. Now I already have my oven over here on preheated to 400 degrees. So while this is just kind of tenderizing, we are going to set everything else over here kind of out of the way. And I, I am going to cook this in a little iron skillet. I think it's it just is prettier when I cook it in an iron skillet. It just, I don't know, it tastes good to me. And I am going to go ahead and get my little crust out. Now don't worry that I'm using these little pie crusts like, oh, that's going to look ugly. It really doesn't. It looks really good. Don't worry about it. It's going to take all four of your pie crusts. Okay, we are gonna. We have now turned this off, and we are going to turn it back on. We have our we have um, two pie crusts in our pan here. It did take a little over two. It took about two and a half, maybe. And we're saving the rest for the top. We're gonna go ahead and add our uh, chicken into our mixture here, our vegetable mixture. Don't worry if your pie crust doesn't look real good. It's going to bake beautifully, trust me. I have made this so many times. Um, we are going to add our flour. And don't worry if you say, well, but there's nothing in there that's going to soak up that flour. That flour is going to kind of bind to the vegetables and soak up the butter. And then when you add your chicken broth, it's going to help thicken everything up when you make your pot pie, when you pour it into this pan. It's going to be, it smells really good. It smells delicious. Just stir that flour right in there until it's all mixed up. Okay, <laughs> now. It looks like that we now can go ahead and add our chicken broth. And 
You might have to add a little more um, chicken broth if you need to. It's okay. Just don't worry about it. And we are going to add, at this point, we're going to go ahead and add all the rest of our vegetables that we set out, our corn, our peas. Don't those look so good? We're just going to let that cook a little bit. And it'll get thick. We're going to go ahead and add now our half and half. And this is going to just, it's going to get thick. It's going to thicken up and you're going to be able to put it in your pot pie. And we're going to put a top on that and it is going to just be delicious. Okay, we are now ready to, our, our filling is nice and thick. You see how it has thickened up. It's gotten pretty thick and it's ready for pot pie form. And we are now ready to take this and put it in our pan and put the top on it and put it in the oven. It's going to be beautiful and delicious. Okay, and we're just going to turn that off. I'm just going to pour that right in there. Oh, okay. We, I had to take time to get my apron back on. Um, we are now going to put the top on that. Can you see how beautiful this looks in this pie? Look at how beautiful this is in this in this pan. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful pie and it's going to taste every bit as beautiful. And what I did with the leftover pie dough, uh, pie crust, is I just rolled it out and I'm going to stick it right on top. Now this is okay, I'm telling you, it is, it is going to be so good. I'm going to put that right in there, I know that. Uh, we're just, I'm just taking my fingers and I'm just kind of pressing around the edges. Sealing it. Our little pie crust. Just a little, just to make it nice and brown. Remember, everything inside of our pie is fully cooked. So we're just going to brown this and cook the dough. We're just going to just give it a nice brown color. You can do it with butter too. Butter. Butter gives it a nice crispy golden brown look too if you don't have an egg. So we're going to pop this into our 400 preheated oven. We're going to pop it in there for about 40 minutes and just make sure the dough on the bottom and the top is fully cooked and we're going to check it. It's recording. Hi Tiny. Hi buddy. Mom's got to get her nose in there. He bite it. Hey Guardian. Come here. You want to stick your nose up here? You want to stick your nose up here? Huh? You want to stick your nose up here? Come here. Come here, Tiny. Come here. Come here. Come here. I said, come here. Okay, guys, we have now taken it out of the oven. It's still really hot and it, is, it smells absolutely delicious. You can see how nice and golden brown the crust has gotten. 
and it's in our iron skillet which is going to be really really make it even more delicious so um, you can do this you can do this uh, in just a in a cake pan you can make this recipe just in a pie pan you you can make it uh, however you wish the serving size of this is going to feed about seven to eight people so good helping so you can see how big it is it's it's pretty big so we're just going to cut into this like I said it's really hot it hasn't had time yet to set up and if you let it set it will uh, it'll get thicker and it will be even better Oh, look at all that goody in there just falling out in there gosh oh. look at that guys look at how beautiful look at the celery the carrots the corn and just that flaky crust it's it's in all the juices it's going to be absolutely delicious How this thing tastes if it tastes as good as it smells it's gonna be amazing mm. Mm -hmm. this is so good oh my goodness this is way better than any pot pie you could buy in a store this one is it's Full of flavors you get the chicken the carrots the green beans all of that's coming through that garlic is coming through you're absolutely going to love it me and tidy approve of this this recipe and it's our fave one of our family favorites so if you guys want to see us on the next video go check us out we'll see you later